Let's head over to the hills of KwaZulu-Natal to see how one corporate is continuously encouraging its employees to give back to the community. One of my favorite days in South Africa is Mandela Day, a day when all South Africans, whether giving or receiving, experience the true spirit of Ubuntu. This year, the Telcom Foundation, Habitat for Humanity, and a busload of Telcom staff are rolling up their sleeves and building up a brand new house for a very special lady. It's an early morning in Umgababa KZN and a group of telecom volunteers arrive ahead of a long day's work. They only have one goal, to build a house in a week for one impoverished grandmother. Violet Gubane's pension supports four dependents, and she has had many worries in her life. But lately, it is a dilapidated old house that gives her sleepless nights. <laughs> Violet's plight was heard by the local councillor. Mui Samkiza got in touch with Habitat for Humanity, an organization that has helped thousands of low-income families find new hope in the form of affordable housing. We approach uh, uh, the, the, the Habitat for Humanity to assist us. Our communities are, are faces with the poverty. Most of the, the house are not in a decent way. So that is why uh, uh, a municipality including a uh, 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 municipality uh, uh, having a partnership with uh, a, a, a Habitat for Humanity to come and assist those communities who are more uh, 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 having a poverty than others. Habitat for Humanity, we work very closely with our communities and we have a community development facilitator who works with a councillor. A list is drawn up once we know that we can come into an area and from that list we will then identify those that would need preferential housing. What we are wanting to achieve is to help people access housing, people that are in need of housing, it's to transform lives and also to improve social economics. <laughs> Habitat for Humanity depends on donations, and Telcom was more than willing to help. For companies like Telcom, volunteer programs offer proof to employees and communities that the company cares about more than just making a profit. It also gives employees opportunities to make a contribution outside their work and to make a huge difference in people's lives. We came in as a sponsor, but over and above the sponsorship that we've given, we also wanted to volunteer our time, our skills and resources to make sure that we don't just donate the money, but we make it possible by actually getting involved in the building of the house. This particular project focuses on two areas of the four. One being staff volunteerism and the second one being social development. Staff volunteerism because the house that we're looking at today is solely built by telecom employees on a voluntary capacity. None of them got paid, none of them got given anything to do it. It's just our sense of demonstrating how Telcom as a business cares for communities. I feel honoured and privileged to have been involved in this project and I'm absolutely humbled by being here. We take so much, so many things for granted out in the city, uh, running water, electricity. Employee volunteerism is very important. For one, um, it's just working towards a common goal. Um, and it just brings everybody together. So I think it's for a really good cause and it's, it builds teamwork, it builds team spirit. What was really powerful for me was the whole team coming together, irrespective of their rank. No one saw any sort of hierarchy or anything like that. It was more of us getting together, 
getting down to business just to achieve the ultimate goal. I felt that um, I needed to do something for the Mandela Day 67 minutes. Most of the staff in Telcom, they don't just want to come in and work and go home. They also want to work for an organization that cares. And part of the voluntarism objectives is to ensure we give that opportunity to employees. Obviously, some of our employees work for charities in their private time, but we're giving them the opportunity to give something back, and that way we'll make sure that they love the organization, because an organization has got a heart. As you can see, the Telcom Foundation and Habitat for Humanity are in the process of changing one family's life in a fundamental way. Stay with us. After the break, we reveal their brand new house. The Telcom Foundation provides computers and internet connectivity where they're needed most. Opening minds sparking curiosity and creating a desire for our children to learn even more. Which just goes to show, we're more than just technology. Telcom. Touch tomorrow. Welcome back. On Mandela Day, thousands of South Africans spend 67 minutes of their time in service of others as a tribute of Dada Nelson Mandela. But the Telcom Foundation volunteers have gone beyond that call of duty. They have spent five days building a brand new house for Goku Violet Ngubane and her grandchildren. <laughs> this platform that Telcom Foundation provides me at a personal level is that ability to look back and say, not only have I availed my skills and time and Telcom's resources to make a difference, but just that happy face that you see when people's lives are transformed because of the interventions you've made. For me, the handover ceremony is the experience of seeing Mrs. Ngobani knowing that she will receive her keys to her house and something that will keep them warm, that rain won't be coming in and I think just knowing that she realises that a lot of people out there do love her even with all the hardships, that it is love that is actually being passed on. <laughs> Violet Ngubane has been struggling for so long that she started to wonder if her dream of living in a proper house and providing a safe and comfortable shelter for her children and her grandchildren would ever come true. Well, thanks to the Telcom Foundation, Habitat for Humanity, and the Telcom staff who volunteered, Gokungubane does not have to wonder anymore. Today, one more family has a home, a chance to live a better life, and build a brighter future. Mandela Day has come and gone, and we've all seen the change it can have on people's lives. But I need to remind you one thing. The spirit of Mandela Day is with us every single day. So you need not to wait until the 18th of July next year to make a difference in someone's life or in your community. 